In this video, we're going to take a look at HTC ImageSense, a new piece of software from HTC which is coming on their new devices, be it the One X or the One S. So we're going to take a look at it on the One S here, but the principle remains the same on any of the new One Series devices. So if we go into the device and to the camera, this is where ImageSense um, comes into its own. So already, what we've done is we've just gone into one icon, we've clicked Camera. If you're a member of devices in the past, or you may have a device now where you can either select between camera or camcorder, no longer do you need to do that, you just click camera and you're taken into an application which manages both the camera and the camcorder functionalities. And that's identified here. We've got a shutter icon or we've got a video recording icon. So we can select between the two modes from this one screen. We haven't had to go into different applications. So simply put, we can just take standard pictures like so. You can see it counting down the number of pictures that we can store on the device on the internal memory. So taking pictures, we can take video like we would normally. Now it records in different resolutions, but this goes up to 1080p on the One uh, S and the One X. So we're now recording, but what you'll see is different here is we've got a shutter icon. So we can actually take pictures whilst we're recording. So if I tap that, it takes a picture, takes another picture. That's taking a picture whilst I'm recording. It hasn't made a shutter sound, so there's going to be no noise in the video footage, and I can then stop the video footage. And those pictures that we captured during the video recording will be stored on the device for us to review later. Whether we're in the camera or the video recording, option we can slide the zoom in and out on the subject area that we are recording. We then also have a variety of options when it comes to effects. So let's for example go to dots. So if you like this effect you can take pictures using this. Now you can't do that with the video so you see we've gone straight into the video mode and it's just uh, gone back to normal. You don't have those options. That's just when it comes to the actual camera. So then I can flick through to all the different effects. There's a distortion effect there, but for the sake of principle, let's just go back to, to no effect. So you get the idea. That's how you can customize some of the settings. And that's one of the elements of image sense with a lot of cameras on devices you don't get all of these sort of options for customizing your photos and making changes. If you look at Sony devices, they have just uh, the camera application. And you often need to uh, edit your photos afterwards on a computer or use a different application to do uh, the effects to, to your photo uh, from the device itself. And this is where HTC are integrating it all, and that's why they call it ImageSense. So we've got some of the options regarding the flash here. So the layout of these buttons are the same on the One X. And we also then have a range of settings from switching between which camera we're using. So if it's got a front facing camera, we can flick to the front facing camera and now you can see that it's uh, recording the, the camera that we're recording this with. Um, you can then still do the shutter and video options just like we would on the main camera. So we'll switch back to the main camera We've then got a whole range of other settings. Now I could spend a long time going into these, but you can change the image resolution, you can change the video quality, so we can go up to full HD, or alternatively we could go down to something that's much better for uh, sending it via a, a message, for example. We can have a review duration if we want it, we can make adjustments to the image in terms of exposure, contrast, and more. We've got the ISO, white balance, we've got the option to do continuous shooting which we'll come back to in a moment. We've got more video options so video stabilization, record with audio so we could get it to record just footage and no sound if we wanted. We can uh, change the interface and we can reset default. We've then got the option to select different scenes, so we can uh, help the camera work out 
the environment that we're in. So it'll automatically detect a lot of the scene modes. Um, but really, if you want to give it a helping hand and get the best shot, tell it what you're shooting. So if we went to Panorama, for example, you can see how some of the settings now change on screen. So when you're taking the photo, it wants you to line it up uh, level so that it can stitch the picture together and uh, get that nice shot for you. You know, group portrait uh, mode, so it's designed to get smiles and, and what have you. But let's just go back to auto, will it auto you know, detect? We have got this continuous shooting mode, so I can So it's taken all of those pictures. Now it's a bit difficult to, to tell differences between them because of the background that we're shooting on, but what you can see is all of those pictures that we've actually taken um, then in that continuous shooting mode. It'll take up to uh, 99 shots. We've got the option to uh, delete the images. We can go to the best shot. And the camera actually intelligently works out what the best shot was that we we took so that's um, quite a nice feature there so let's come out of that and then we've got the shortcut back to our gallery so we can go through our continuous shots here so it does actually want us to do um, something with these we can expand certain images so there's lots of options so if we go to the gallery we can see um, we've got access straight back to the camera if we chose we can view different um, albums so be it the albums that we have actually on the device itself we've got Facebook we've got Flickr uh, Dropbox or anything that we're linked to with uh, online accounts here but then we can go in and see all our videos all our photos and all our camera shots and you can see here that we've got lots of the uh, clove background here because that's what we've been recording on but you would of course have different um, settings uh, or sorry different photos based on what you've been recording but if we were to go into a video we can play that back and you can see that we've then got the uh, shutter icon coming up here so that we can take pictures throughout the video recording and it's telling us the image has been saved as well. So that's just a quick look at HTC Image Sense on the One S. Same experience on the One V and the One X, uh, but it's a great addition to HTC devices to improve uh, the uh, camera capabilities of the device and your experience on the device. Thanks for watching.